this guy had over a year that he was stealing from another human being. And then we have those deadbeat sympathizers out there who think that this tenant is the good guy. Who think that this tenant is the person who was wronged on eviction day. You get the people that are like, how could you throw him out? Blah, blah, blah. This is an able-bodied American adult man who is a parasite on society. Instead of paying for the roof over his head like me, like most of you, like every able-bodied American should do, this man chose a life of crime. This man chose to steal from another human being. And on top of stealing from this person, he decided to trash the guy's house. For what reason? I don't know. Other than he is a piece of human garbage. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off on a place with a view. The pain is never gonna stop. I'm really excited to be able to bring this video to you guys, okay? I'm super excited about what you're seeing, what we're watching. What this is, is this is a before and after of a recent eviction that the Holton Wise team did, okay? The reason I wanted to bring this to your attention and do this video in this specific way is at this point in time, right, Holton Wise TV, uh, we've had over 25 million views and we've seen and noticed trends that are happening, right? It's almost like uh, there's two main camps of people, of viewers out there, right? You have people that are in the real estate industry, in the real estate business, and they're like, ah, I can't believe it when tenants get evicted, they trash the houses, they shouldn't do this to us, this is wrong, this is bad, et cetera, et cetera, right? Makes sense. And then you have another camp, which is vehemently opposed uh, to the landlord, to the property management camp, right? And that's your tenant sympathizers, or as I like to call them, your deadbeat sympathizers, right? These are the people that are on the left side of the aisle, right? Left wing, extremist, socialist, people that think rent is wrong, people that hate capitalism, people that think that the tenant is the victim on eviction day, which I think is bonkers. I think is crazy because I think the only the only victim on eviction day is the person who had crimes perpetrated against them. Those crimes being theft, damage of property, right? And that is the property owner. That is the landlord, right? And these two groups of people will go back and forth and have just aggressive boxing matches in the comments uh, of, you know, all of our content across the various platforms, okay? And one of the main themes that we've gotten and we've received, right? We've received, we've literally received thousands of comments from the deadbeat sympathizers uh, who make claims, outrageously false claims, mind you, but claims that say things like, ah, well, if I was living there, I wouldn't pay rent either. That place was crummy. That place was nasty. The landlord probably never fixed anything. The landlord's probably a slum Lord, the landlord probably rented that property to them looking like this, right? And most of the time, at least specifically here at Holton Wise, uh, I can't speak to every landlord in the world, right? There, of course, are bad and good actors on all sides of every aisle. Uh, but here at Holton Wise, we rent people quality properties. We never rent out uh, disgusting units, right? We have a minimum set of rental property standards, right? And I thought it was very important to show you guys what the properties actually look like prior to, to what you see at the eviction and when you see the eviction aftermath, right? Like, we should be making our arguments and presenting our cases based upon facts, guys, not rhetoric, not assumptions, right? So uh, being able to do this particular video for you guys uh, was very important to me and very important to the team here. So you guys can see, like, this unit during the eviction is gross, it is dirty, it is nasty, but that is not the condition in which this particular tenant received the property, right? This particular tenant 
was rented a quality property, a clean property, a property that had no underlying issues. And this particular tenant then chose to take advantage of the COVID eviction moratorium and steal from the property owner for over one year, right? This guy had over a year that he was stealing from another human being. And then we have those deadbeat sympathizers out there who think that this tenant is the good guy, who think that this tenant is the person who was wronged on eviction day. You get the people that are like, how could you throw him out, blah, blah, blah. This is an able-bodied American adult man who is a parasite on society. Instead of paying for the roof over his head like me, like most of you, like every able-bodied American should do, this man chose a life of crime. This man chose to steal from another human being. And on top of stealing from this person, he decided to trash the guy's house. For what reason, I don't know, other than he is a piece of human garbage. And that, folks, is why Holton Wise will not ever, ever stop shining a light on the property management business. That is why Holton Wise will never stop filming all of our evictions. That is why Holton Wise will not stop publishing our evictions. Holton Wise TV is here to provide viewers, to provide the general public a real life look at the real estate industry. This isn't some left wing media publication that vilifies property owners, that vilifies the landlords, and always tries to make the criminal look like the victim. That's not what's happening in the real world. It is our mission to show you guys what is really happening. How can you guys watch footage like this where you see what this tenant was given and then what he gave back after a year of stealing it, right? He was forced to give it back by the eviction process. But like, how can you look at this objectively, no matter what side of the aisle you're on, how could you look at this and blame anyone in this situation other than the criminal, right? We don't do that with other crimes, right? You don't see people going into Walmart, stealing carts and carts of goods, and then when the police arrest them for theft, everyone goes, how oh, could they do that? They were just down on their luck, so they stole all that stuff. You don't see that out there, but for some reason, when it comes to evictions, which is the only legal uh, medium of justice for property owners who are being stolen from uh, to try to recuperate and stop their losses, do we see all the deadbeat synthesizers come out of the woodwork and just attack and attack and attack that particular property owner? And again, most of the time, falsely, they go, well, there's no reason, there's no scenario where anyone other than the property owner is the bad guy here. So clearly, it's not the tenant's fault that they decided to steal. Clearly, the owner of the property, the big, rich, evil, nasty, horrible landlord, the monopoly guy come to life, clearly that person must have never fixed their property up and rented a, a unit that's just in disgusting squalor to this tenant because, of course, he's the victim. He couldn't have done anything wrong in this particular situation. Well, what say you now, folks? I presented to you footage of the same unit before and after. You tell me how anyone other than the guy stealing from the other guy for over a year is the bad guy. Oh, the taxi, yeah, a lot of times they just end up leaving them. And they crack it. Yeah. It's really the rocks, so you can get the rocks out. That's really easy. There you go. 545. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to wash my hands. Yeah. I'm going to really dry it on the gloves. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.